Dear Chairman, dear Post and Gas Facilitator, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to share the views with a refreshed commission bound by two significant cornerstones, namely the UNGAS outcome document and agenda for sustainable development. These documents assess a framework where bettering the health, well-being, and living conditions come first. In line with this new policy landscape, ahead of the 2019 target date, our think tank will introduce and develop recommendations around three topics. In anticipation of the upcoming diplomatic marathon, we need to recall several key elements. The hierarchy of norms unequivocally places human rights first. Under international law, states must give priority to their human rights obligations over and above conflicting obligations under the Drug Control Conventions. Recently, several groundbreaking academic researchers have clarified the hierarchy of standards. They point that these overruling human rights, first and foremost, are positive obligations derived from the right to health, life, physical, mental integrity, and privacy. Conformity with the fundamental rights standards starts with ending the death penalty for drug-related offenses and generally by making more proportional and less coercive the penal and administrative responses. Along with the need to respect privacy, these needed measures can only be achieved by ending criminalization of those citizens who use drugs or engage in illicit drug-related activities to get by. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development reaffirms these principles and shows pathways to achieve good practices in line with human, international human rights instruments. We recommend to member states, take advantage of the territorial diversity, encourage development and experimentation of alternative policies and practices at the local or regional level, in particular in the regions where problematic use is prominent or in these areas where cultivation or use are bound to tradition. Sustainability merges good faith and rationality. Although it is evident that part of drug-related issues is also crime-related, most of the concept of crime falls out of the scope of matter linked to drugs. Robbery, terrorism, human or organ trafficking, tax evasion, child pornography, copyright violations, nothing rational or systemic links these crimes to drugs. The drug and crime issue only arises as a nuclear topic when the system has failed to put health and welfare at its core. The primary work to be undertaken at the international level regarding drugs must fundamentally articulate around health, care, and prevention. Reaffirming the drug issues not only as in illegal drugs, issue, but the key is to understand new challenges and ensure availability of controlled medicines among the planet. In its Article 17, the single convention mandates a special administration to oversee international drug control, first carried out by the UN Secretary General's Division on Narcotics Drug, then entrusted to the UNDCP, eventually merging with crime and justice issues onto the UNODC 20 years ago. In consequence, we recommend refocus the UNODC as the United Nations Drugs and Controlled Substances with exclusive responsibility for providing effective leadership for all UN drug control activities, ensuring the coher coherence of actions as well as coordination complementarity and non-duplication of activities across the United Nations system and thoroughly implementing CND resolutions. Secondly, create a United Nations Office on Crime Prevention that would implement the CCPCJ resolutions and efficiently focus on preventing delinquency and tackling those criminal organizations that smuggle with controlled drugs. 
In this renewed context, the reinforced, refocused UNODC could assume its legitimate role of mediator and transversal actor, in particular, creating and strengthening contacts in cooperation with high-level political forum on sustainable government development focused on goals 3, 5, 8, 10, 11, 16, and 17. The UN Development Program, the Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, the International Regulatory Cooperation for Herbal Medicines, the UN Environment Program, and the UN University. We welcome the work of the CND Chair and the post UNGAS facilitator and recall the need to continue efforts to allow substantive involvement and contributions from all countries and from broad civil society stakeholders, including people who use, produce, and affected populations. In particular, we recommend including CND in the UN Web TV broadcasting system. Give more importance to the CND template document intended to collect implementation programs of the UNGAS and increase presence on social media. Regarding the way forward, the UNGAS preparations included a rich consultation process to try and achieve a snapshot of the various realities of the world. It was for it was used as the basis to draft the UNGAS outcome document, which finally embraced the broad drug phenomenon. A similar, if not more extended process should be conducted to draft the next action plan. Enough time and comprehensive data are critical. Therefore, we urge the commission to take two steps. Harmonize the time frame of the international action on drugs with the 2030 agenda by extending the consultation one year and adopting at its 63rd session a new action plan running from 2020 to 2030. Secondly, in the spirit of the UNGAS preparations, compile all member states' plans of action to tackle drug-related issues into a report of member states' national and local strategies and dedicate intersessional CND meetings to the presentation, debate, and discussion of these concrete plans. One significant consideration for future UN strategies to overcome the stalemate grounded on non-consensual past consensus would be to switch from a doctrinaire upstream approach to an amenable downstream approach action plan, which encourages and reinforces member states in their action. The zero draft of the 2020-2030 UN Plan of Action on Drugs must directly be a synthesis of the diversity, thoroughness, and value of member states' local and national drug strategies. Thank you for your attention.